All right, we are back once again, and we've got the uh, last two Vulixes in our list that we're going to be doing. Uh, I just wanted to mention one thing. Um, I've been wearing the same clothes in the last, like, four or five videos. Yes, I've been having to sleep at the warehouse. I've been passing out, waking up, going back to work. It's been uh, a really rough week. Not that it hasn't been a fun week, but just in case any of you noticed, no. Now, now everyone knows, but yeah, anyway, let's get right into these cabs, shall we? So this one was listed as junk. I believe everything works, but my original, this is one I never, li I actually didn't list. I was planning on sitting down and doing like a full strip and redo it, and I'd probably just keep it or something like that. So I had never listed it for sale. Uh, if I sell this one, it'll be after I've done a fair amount of work. Now, I mean... I can't even really say it's junk because of it, but like you can kind of look at this monitor and you can see like there's some duct tape, duct taping something up there and there's been some stripped off. You can tell that's like stripped off duct tape. Um, but other than that, I don't think it's really that bad. We can take a look inside and um, yeah, it's you know a little yellowed and stuff, but I don't think it's any better or worse than others. I think I harvested the power supply from this one for someone else's cab. So it did have a power supply, but I took it out. And, you know, no versus kit in this one either. Um, and I'm actually going to unwrap both of these and kind of take a look at both. And this one actually is quite clean. All said and done. So also no versus kit. But yeah, it looks pretty good. So, okay, I'm gonna unwrap this one and I'm gonna hook up both of them. I don't think I have any vertical HD games, but we'll at least test out the monitor, see how it is. This one is one that I'm probably more likely going to change the monitor in, out of. Uh, but I think it all boils down to which ones look really bad. I believe I harvested the JBSIO out of this one as well. So I have a replacement JBSIO, one of the ones we picked up in our Japan haul videos, and we'll swap that in. <clears throat> so I think that's really, I don't see anything else really to point out about these cabs until we get into them. But uh, the last, the only other thing I can really think of is, oh, actually, you know, we can open these up and take a look to the harnesses before we start going into the cab. But these both came with these Egret 3 panels, which are in actually pretty nice looking shape. Um, now I have Velix panels to replace them, and these Egret 3 panels, there's already a couple people that are interested in them, and I'm going to pass them on so that they can go back into an Egret 3. Uh, oh yeah, so yeah, I forgot this one doesn't have these screws holding down the top, so it just falls off. Oh yeah, so yeah, I did harvest the JVS I.O. out of this one, and I just replaced it with a fast I.O. So that just goes down here. Um, I'm probably going to switch this one back to JVS anyway. But I wanted to look at this because the harnesses are... It, 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 it was nice that both of these came two-player. Now, Vulixes almost absolutely come with 1L harnesses only, 1L panels. Um, so you almost never see a two-player Vulix. So I wanted to look at, and you see here, we've actually got an adapter in this one. And I'll, we'll take a look at the other one in, in the second half of this video. But it, there's an adapter here that converts the JAMA harness, or the, the Vulix harness, into the old-type Sega harness here. Uh, I don't know if these are standard. They usually don't ship with these cabs. I've seen them in, I think the SQs have had something similar, not quite the same. But this is very convenient and it makes it easy to um, get a new harness for these because the, the original Felix, Felix harnesses are really expensive. So that does save me some trouble with these cabinets to get them um, up to like a two, a two player setup. So I just wanted to point that out before we break to put these cabs together. All right, then we will be back shortly and I will have one 
or probably both of these cabinets put together and we'll check them out. And we've taken a look at both of these cabs and um, I was originally going to do this one but I decided not to because well for one it's rotated and I can't quite reach the uh, VGA cable since I had to do the VGA DVI cable on this thing as well. Uh, but also I wanted to point out that this one doesn't look like it's not an original monitor and there's um, some wooden uh, what looks like 2x4s or something stuck in between there to help frame this in. So that's really interesting. Um, I'll check it out when we fire it up later down the line. Maybe I'll do a separate video on it, but more than likely we'll replace it. And this was the one that came in as a quote junk cap. So on this one we have a, an original monitor. We just opened the back to run the cable as well. And we're going to take a look at this cap. So this one actually has quite a nice monitor. I didn't notice really any burn or anything with it. It looks good. Um, we, we poked around a little with it and uh, it's pretty, I, we're pretty happy with it. Um, now this control panel here, it's really interesting that um, it has these uh, orange buttons here. Like I don't, you don't really see orange buttons on cabs very often. And uh, like you come in here and oh God, these are pink. So, these are pink buttons and they look yellow and brown because of sun and sweat and whatever freaking gross shit. But if you look at the bottom, these are actually pink buttons. And um, this is exactly what I am getting rid of for all of my cabinets down the line. And, and the, like, regardless whether these work or not, they just look terrible. I mean, I just wanted to point that out because, oh God, that is what happens to pink buttons um, over time. And you'll, you'll see it all the time on Astro Cities and older candies like that. They, they all look like that. They're, they're gross. Anyway, looking inside, uh, we looked at the, the inside of the other one before. This one is actually a full um, 2L12B uh, harness, which is really nice. So that'll make it really easy when we switch this over. I'm actually going to put a, um, I have a 2L Vulix L panel ready to go for this and we're just going to drop that in. Anyway, um, the cab up running, videos looking good. Um, I wanted to point out a couple things and I'm actually just going to rotate it around to, to show it. This one used to be a uh, Cyber Diver cab at one point and was converted back to a normal Vulix. And back here we've got the Cyber Diver marquee. Um, it was just turned around. So it's got the, uh, the black backside is, is facing forward. Um, another thing is, is these side, um, these side pieces are black, which was what um, Cyber Diver had as well. Uh, so I'm not sure if I'm going to leave those or swap them out or something. But it's just kind of cool uh, that this was, this was originally like one of those. But um, yeah, all in all, uh, these two calves, I think they're going to be great. This one, I'll, again, I might do a separate video when I go over a little bit more. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Um, oh yeah, the last thing. So this side panel here is just stark white. I don't know if it was just covered or something, or but whatever it is, for some reason, that part, usually I get these cabs and all of them are uniformly yellowed, but that one is just straight white. So just really interesting and I wanted to point that out. Um, also this, yes, I think these, these being black, I think that's, that's a Cyber Diver thing too. I'm not sure, I think that normally those are all metallic, but at any rate, um, that wraps it up for this pair of uh, Vulixes, and uh, yeah, I think um, we're just about done with this batch of cabs, and in about three to four weeks, we'll be getting another batch, and we'll have a lot of really interesting things to open up. So we will see you later.